Welcome back and thanks for joining us. When should your child start swim lessons and how do you choose the one that's best for your family? You may have heard of ISR or infant swimming resource. It's also called self rescue or survival swim lessons. Compared to traditional swim lessons, ISR typically begins as early as six months old, submerges a child underwater and teaches a repetitive movement of flipping over to float on their back and wait for rescue until they do it by instinct. Once they master the movement, they're tested wearing clothes and shoes to be prepared for a situation where they're not expected to be swimming. Critics of the technique say it can cause stress on the child. Traditional swim lessons can also begin at six months old, but focus on gaining confidence in the water before submersion and learning fundamental techniques like floating on their backs and fronts, blowing bubbles and kicking at a pace that challenges the child while still matching their comfort level. These lessons are intended to teach basic swimming techniques that eventually lead to learning strokes. Keep in mind, continuous lessons make a child 88% less likely to drown. The AAP says there is no research proving lessons under one year old are effective, but experts like swim instructor Emily Jacobson recommend children start lessons as young as six months old so they don't develop a fear of the water. They can start as early as six months. We've really found that starting them that early uh, makes them feel comfortable in the water and we can also um, eliminate any kind of fears they might have developed as they get older. Swim lessons can be expensive. Nearly 80% of children in households with incomes less than $50,000 have little to no swimming ability, but there are affordable solutions. USA Swimming has a branch called Make a Splash Foundation. Its mission is to teach every child water safety by giving groups all across the country funding for affordable swim lessons. Some of that money has supported the Boys and Girls Club of the Tennessee Valley. Their lifeguards teach children starting at five years old who are members swim lessons all year long, all for free. It's really important for our kiddos that are running around town to know um, how to stay safe while they are around that water. We want to keep them safe first and foremost, and they're able to help themselves if they get into a sticky situation. YMCA of East Tennessee has grants for families who qualify for free or reduced cost lessons for children of all ages. They also partner with Centro Hispano and Bridge Refugee, teaching swim lessons even to people who don't speak English. We're trying to be that resource and be that source of knowledge for them. Um, even if there's a language barrier, you know, we're able to get translators and that kind of thing through those organizations. So that way they can come and learn how to swim and learn how to be safe. Emerald Youth Foundation is another option for affordable swim lessons. It targets urban families living in Knoxville, charging $5 per week for one-on-one -on -one lessons with Red Cross certified instructors. The thing about this community is that there's not a lot of pools around, and so the kids in this community, they don't see a pool, they don't think about swim lessons. We offer private lessons here, we offer group lessons here, and we would love to have everybody in this community learn how to swim. We've compiled a list of swim schools, gyms, and clubs who offer swim lessons in East Tennessee on WVLT.TV. All of the families I've talked to, despite their tragedies, have one thing in common, hope. Hope for the future, hoping their own children, even though they're no longer with us, are making the world a safer place, hoping there won't be another crisis in the water. Thanks for joining us for this important conversation. By listening, you're already a part of the solution. We can raise awareness and things like that, but we want to have impact in the long run and we want to make sure that the action steps are accomplished. We got done in six months what normally takes more than two years. I just want to go back and change the past, but I can't. All I can do at this point is change the future.